hello and welcome back to my channel the faceless engineer and today we'll be starting our encoding journey with lead code and we'll be doing programming skills study plan and let's start with our first problem okay so first let's read the problem and then formulate a solution and then code it out oh by the way i will code it i will be coding it in c++ but uh, irrespective of what whatever language you use i think you can follow the solution and code it in your specified language okay so you are given an array of unique integers salary where salary i is the salary of the ith employee return the average salary of employees excluding the minimum and maximum salary answer within 10 to the power minus 5 of the actual answer will be accepted okay so basically we have to find the average of all the salaries excluding the minimum and maximum so immediately the solution that comes to mind is we sort the array we sort the vector and when we sort the vector the first element of the vector will be the minimum element and the last element of the vector will be the maximum element and then we will minus that both those two elements from the total sum and then average it but as you can see uh, sorting will take o n log n time right and calculating the total sum will take n time and the other operations like averaging will take O1 time. So the total complexity here will be ON log n plus ON, which will be approximately equal to ON log n. But we can do this uh, problem in ON time. And how we can do it? We can keep track of the minimum element and keep track of the maximum element while we are calculating the total sum of the array okay so uh, you can try out the sorting solution on your own and i will be doing it in the o n time okay so let's start so first we will calculate the size of the array uh, because we will need it to know how many elements there are right so in equal to right and now we will take a variable min minimum okay and we will initiate it to the maximum integer value possible or the maximum double value possible because we have to return a double data type not integer okay so there was a first mistake there so we will use double and there is an inbuilt function to know the maximum value of a double data data type and which is caps lock d b l underscore max right similarly we will initialize our maximum okay now why we are initializing minimum to double max and min maximum to double min because when we will be tracking the minimum we will use the minimum function right and minimum has to be the highest value possible so that we can continuously update it okay i will show you with the code itself And we will also need a double 
sum because we will be keeping track of the sum as well. Now, minimum See, just for example, why we have taken minimum equal to the maximum value of double? Because see here, when we try to update the minimum, so the first element is 4000, right? So the minimum of 4000 and we need some value which will be more than 4000. In fact, more than any value. So the only value will, which will be more than any value in this vector will be double max. Similarly, the value which will be less than any value in this vector will be double min. So we use this initialization. Okay. And after this loop completes, we will get the sum, we will get the minimum and we will get the maximum. So what we need to do is we need to return. Sum minus minus maximum divided by n minus 2 why n minus 2 because n is the size of this vector right and we are trying to find the average so because we are trying to find the average and we are subtracting two elements from it the minimum element and the maximum element so the size of the array decreases by 2 also ok so we are doing minus 2 so let's run it ok so see we can use this minimum function because we are using a double value. Minimum only works for integer data type. Okay. So we can fix this very easily. What we will do is if salary i is less than minimum, then we will update minimum. This is basically the same thing as the previous code. We are just doing it ourselves instead of using a function. Okay, so we don't use we don't need to use the function as it is not applicable for double data type. It can be used for integer data type, but since we are working with double, it is not necessary. We will just replace it with a similar a simple check, which will do the same thing, right? So we can run it now and see. Okay, so we have made some mistake. Okay, so let's debug it. What mistake are we making? Okay, see, see, this is very, it is a very basic mistake, very rudimentary mistake, but very deadly. See, what we are doing, why we are getting this number is because we are not putting brackets here, right? So what it does is, it divides this value, it divides this value with n. And then it deducts 2 because of the preference of brackets and minus sign and division sign. Okay. 
so it is a very basic mistake very stupid mistake but mistake indeed so we have to put up brackets around here so that this value is divided by this n minus 2 and not n so let's run it okay i think it's done let's see right it's uh, accepted and so this was the first problem it was a very easy problem but we made a very basic mistake which we need to keep in mind and to keep in mind of that you can use this notepad here okay you can type your mistakes down here and so that when you revisit the problem you know what mistakes you made earlier so this is a good tool that lead code provides okay so if you like the solution if you learned anything from it uh, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel i will be updating regular videos uh, from solving lead code problems and some other problems as well and we will be increasing our level day by day and trying to solve interesting problems and if you want to solve it i would suggest you to use the sort method as well because this the complexity of this solution is o n and the sorting is o n log n so i did not do the sort one because it takes less time but i would suggest you if you are a beginner to try it with sort as well okay thank you and i will see you in the next video uh, goodbye